Bitcoin is preparing the next big move. Make sure to be trading the next upcoming big move for Bitcoin, guys. We have very important analysis today. What is going on with the Bitcoin price? And also, I have something very special for you guys. I negotiated $100 completely for free for everyone that is signing up with my link to this exchange, BingX. If you are signing up right now to Bing X with the link in the video description, the link is right at the top. You will get $100 completely for free as a bonus. No deposit, no trading, nothing needed. You can claim those $100 completely for free. Twice a week, the bonus will be distributed. So that's why be fast, sign up right now and then wait for the bonus to come to your account. Let me quickly check when it will be distributed because um, you can sign up even if you have already an account on Bing X, you can right now, thanks to this collaboration with Bing X team and uh, myself, that $100 completely for free. It is a limited time offering, uh, 41 days you have time, but you have to do that right now, guys, because uh, the, first, uh, the, um, the faster you are, the faster you get the bonus and also the faster you can enter into a trade because with those hundred dollars you cannot withdraw it from the exchange but you can use it to make a trade that means that if you believe that bitcoin will crash down towards forty thousand dollars you can of course with those three hundred dollars put in a leveraged trade and like that also um all the gains that you're doing do it it what you want that means that if from those hundred dollars you are going to do one thousand dollars so if you have a 10x in profits you can withdraw all the profits that you're doing and basically you can make a free trade without any risk nothing if you're a professional you can of course trade it with 100x leverage or with the 10x leverage then from hundred dollars you can uh, go into a one thousand dollars trade or ten thousand dollars trade if you use leverage with those hundred dollars that you get completely for free no deposit nothing needed but if you're a beginner then maybe use lower leverage and try it out first and uh, use that hundred dollars to make maybe a long swing trade that means that um, if you're expecting that bitcoin will come down or will go up significantly in the next coming days and weeks then of course you can also put a, a small leverage in it me personally i would never short bitcoin but if we would see somehow a crash then of course you can also dca into a trade with those hundred dollars for example into a, a very long prolonged long uh, position for example with 1x or 2x leverage because uh, if suddenly the price is coming down but then at some time even after a few years so it's coming up again then by that time, you're of course gonna have huge profits with only $100. So take advantage of it. It sounds not like too much $100, but if you're using the right leverage and the right trades, then of course you can um, do a lot with it. Because if you can make from $100, $10,000, and of course you're a good trader. You can claim it right now, sign up to BingX if you fulfill some requirements, for example, trading volume, especially, which one is it? Uh, there is a trading... Uh, volume that needs to be surpassed uh, i think this one six hundred dollars and uh, here um also i think it's like hundred dollars or something like that i mean if you're trying to trade if you're starting to trade then you can even more claim some bonuses and like that of course uh, get even more bonuses up to seven thousand three hundred dollars so if you're also trading actively and using this exchange of course you can get even more bonuses and in theory you can even reach it with that money that you get here for free those hundred dollars if you're a good trader then you should be also able with those hundred dollars to reach all those bonuses here that you find um, that you can basically get if you're trading so take advantage of it of it Bing X is doing this promotion only for people that are signing up right now with the link in the video description that you find here Bing X exchange sign up to this one and start trading right now and uh, when you sign up wait until the distribution it will be distributed manually every Tuesday and Thursday so those two days it will be distributed that's why you have to be signed in before that day and like that you get those hundred dollars as a bonus and uh, then we have also some other big announcements. First of all, all those new meme coins are still running, all the Dogeverse. This one is very, very much anticipated. I'm getting already now uh, even some uh, publicity around this Dogeverse whenever I'm serving in the internet and I'm checking out some websites. They are even uh, pushing it uh, on some websites, this uh, token. So they, they probably invested a lot in marketing. 
I hope that this one is going to launch soon, especially if Bitcoin would make a big move to the upside next. Then, of course, these new meme coins like Dogeverse, Shiba Shootout, KAI, and also Wiener AI. We also are starting to see some hype around this one, the new Wiener Dogs uh, uh, token. Uh, I bought 100,000 of them. I told you guys I will never sell those 100,000 tokens. I'm going to keep them forever because I like Wiener Dogs. I also owned myself Wiener Dogs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take profits on the staking rewards, which are almost the same amount as I bought because the API is still very high. The more people are joining, the lower it goes. But we bought this since the beginning, like also Shiba Shootout, KAI, Silana as well. And then, of course, we also have the 99 Bitcoins. This is also BRC20 token and fifth escape, this gaming token, which are also good, but um, and, and not meme coins. If you're looking for good meme coins, then Dogeverse, Winner AI, Shiba Shootout, KAI and Silana are in my opinion the next ones that have a big upside potential during this bull run especially if the bull run continues straight away without corrections and also a very big announcement over on AI pay this is going to be a very interesting app and they also have a native token the app is in theory launching today at some point they should come out with the app if they are fulfilling the the timeline and also their own token is going to launch in 12 days you see here a ridiculous number this is of course not the amount that I bought these tokens I bought them um, um, more than uh, 2 billions in uh, this uh, token but I paid like you are paying if you're using my link to sign up that you find in the video description this amount so a fraction of a cent because they are supposed to be launching for one cent at launch and they're even sending out some newsletters that, that because of the demand and the requests they are as they estimated a price between five to six cent at launch as soon as it's getting listed I I Honestly, I don't believe that. I don't expect that. I would be already happy if it's trading at around one cent because we bought it at a fraction of a cent. But we will see what happens at launch. They're going to launch in 12 days at the beginning of June. And in theory, they also should be uh, listed then on exchanges at the same time. Because if you're buying right now this token, you can use already several blockchains and several tokens. So they're quite advanced. They're around here since, since quite some time. And although they're bringing out the app in theory today or at least in the next coming days, we will see. I will update uh, later this website to see if the if the app is uh, um, already launched and you can use it. Because in theory with this app, you will be able to use your cryptos and also your fiat uh, directly with one app and also with one uh, debit card. That means that you don't need to do any more all those uh, bank transactions within your bank and, uh, and uh, exchanges. You can do everything in one app. And like that, if, for example, you're, you're getting this token and it's going to the moon, you can directly on the app, for example, take some profits. Let's say I would take 1 million here out in profits. I can keep it there. I don't need to transact with the, within banks. I can keep it in the app and, for example, spend my money with that card. For example, it's just an example and a theory that you could do with this app and also with this uh, token. But... Um, we will see what happens if you want to participate on this one because it's still uh, very early. I mean, uh, it's not yet launched. You can still, um, uh, of course, try out the app once this is coming out. And then, of course, also participate on the on this discount on this uh, own token that they are going to have and use this AI pay token. You can buy it at a fraction of a cent if you use my link. And also you get 100 tokens completely for free. So even if you don't want to buy any of those tokens and just try the app, uh, try out the app and use the app, you can do that. And if you use my link to sign up that you find in the video description, you get 100 tokens completely for free. So take advantage of it, guys. So first of all, Bitcoin here in the four hour time frame, as expected, this bearish divergence. We had three drives of bearish divergences, even in the lower time frames, we had some. But in the four hour, this is a very important short term uh, time frame. We got this bearish divergence and also the breakout from this rising wedge as expected. So we came down to the first target of around 66k. I'm expecting to go even lower down towards 65k. But at the moment we are seeing a healthy bounce here at this important support that we are getting from the weekly uh, time frame. So the four hour time frame is starting to look a bit more bullish because we are bouncing from this important support level. But the indicators are yet not completely cooled off and in my opinion we have to give it a little bit more time to see what will happen. I am very bullish, of course, but there are still some signs that um, are making me a bit, a bit scary, actually, what could be coming up here for Bitcoin next. Because, of course, after the halving, we are expecting after this consolidation at the all-time high, at the previous all-time high, um, to go to the parabolic um, cycle top of this, uh, of this uh, bull cycle. Yes, that is what happens normally, but um, there are still some signs that are just not the same as 
they were in previous bull runs. So the four hour time frame is still looking good. The daily time frame also came down here to the support that we didn't see a daily close uh, below, which is of course also uh, a good sign. Here on the daily, we have a bit of a problem because we are currently um, quite overbought. Also, all indicators are right at the top. If somehow we would get a sell signal here, we would drop instantly down towards 63 to $62,000 and retest this area, maybe even retest this breakout that we had here from this uh, falling channel. And that would mean that we eventually could even come down towards 60K maybe to test this support because in theory, Bitcoin is still trapped uh, within this falling wedge. In theory, a bullish pattern. The resistance is currently at $69,340 and the support down here at around 60,000 until we see a breakout to the upside or to the downside. Also what, uh, also what uh, reminds me a bit this pattern is uh, in previous top patterns, like when we always topped out, Bitcoin often created a very bullish pattern and then everyone expected a big breakout to the upside when we were already at the cycle top, but then it broke out to the downside and everything was vanished. Bitcoin likes to do that at the top. I I still expect that this is not the top here at around 73, 74K. But as I told you guys, there are still some signs that are making me a bit worried. I mean, even here in the daily time frame, you see that money flow is decreasing. We don't see that huge money flow incoming in the, sh in the lower time frames. Only if we go over into the three day time frame, here we have a very, very powerful buy signal uh, on all indicators. And also here, money flow is still increasing, which is, of course, good. We also close above the 20 moving average in the three day time frame here, as you can see. We are again um, confirming it as a support as long as we close above 65 thousand dollars in the next coming 14 hours i'm expecting here big continuations to the upside the three-day time frame is very very powerful only if we would close again this three-day time frame below sixty five thousand six hundred dollars below the 20 moving average i'm expecting i'm expecting a retest of 60k the support down here then if we go over into the weekly time frame here you can see that we are about to get a buy signal and also if you have a look into Nasdaq and uh, the S&P 500 everywhere we got buy signals in overbought condition and uh, we are creating new all time highs. That's why I think that for Bitcoin we also have the chance to do that because right now although we are forming similar patterns we have a bullish cross on the MACD, uh, no, on, the, on the stochastic RSI as well. So in the weekly time frame my indicators are looking great for big upside. Uh, in the next coming uh, weeks and months without crashing down anymore. So that means that here at around 66K, we still have a very great buy opportunity. At the other hand, if we go over into the MACD indicator, you can see that here with that, we had a bearish cross and right now we are seeing this pump, but the bearish cross happened already. And every time this happened in overbought condition, every time you can see that we started that the cycle top was in, or at least a major top was in, and that we had afterwards a massive crash down. This time it came down to the bottom side of the Bollinger Band here as well. This was even the start of the bear market. That means that we continued then after this bounce to crash lower, but we came down to the bottom line of the Bollinger Bands. And right now we have another bearish cross. And um, you can see that basically it is possible that we're gonna have another crash down towards the bottom line of the Bollinger Bands, currently at 38 to 39 thousand dollars. I still don't expect that because time-wise, also it wouldn't make too much sense. But you can see that we have a clear setup, same like also in previous cycle tops. And you can see that even um, here, for example, we had us. It wasn't a really a cross; it was a, a little cross. But also here, we had a, a correction down to the bottom line of the Bollinger Bands and also the MACD indications weren't so strong as they are right uh, now. So even here when it wasn't so clear and we were by far not so overbought like now because now we are in mo more or less in territories like we were over here, somewhere between here and here. That's why I wouldn't completely ignore this indicator right now because also here you see one big green uh, uh, weekly close then we are starting right now another little uh, weekly candle, same like we also did over here, crash. Then, although here we came to the median line, I think of the Calvin channels here, yes. And pump, two weeks pump, you see like now. So in theory, this would su suggest that maybe next week we will start this huge waterfall like here, if we would duplicate the same like we had over here, because it's, it's really looking similar. So maybe after one or two weeks, we could eventually start on that big crash. That is possible, but 
time-wise, of course, it wouldn't make sense because right now we are coming right after the halving. This was already after the halving was basically um, almost a year over and we had already that huge parabolic run-up. Yes, although here we had a parabolic run-up, but time-wise, it's not the same. In theory, we should still expect that huge run-up for Bitcoin. That's why I'm a bit worried right now. And also here on the monthly time frame, all the sell indicators are still flashing, same like we had it all in previous cycles, not only in the previous one, also in here at 20K, for example, sell signal at the top, everything was crossing bearish and then big crash into the median line of the Caldas channels before we had a bounce. And we have it currently also down here at around $43,000, the median line of the Caldas channels. So that's why concerning warning signs in the bigger time frames, but time-wise and also in theory, based on the lower time frames, like although the three-day time frame, we should still expect big moves to the upside for Bitcoin, but we shouldn't ignore what is going on in the bigger time time frames for now. All right, guys. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I think yes, a bit more upside is possible. Also, uh, we have here sixty-seven thousand three hundred dollars as the close of the CMEs on Friday. That means that most likely we're gonna go to that price level in the next coming hours. Um, but um, I would definitely be more bullish once we have daily closes above this resistance trend line at $70,000. Then I think we will most likely see that big run up to the upside. If we get again rejected here and come back down towards 60k, I'm afraid that then again the chances are more likely that we will see a breakdown again. And what we have seen here was not a fake out, but just the warning sign or the beginning uh, of, a, of, of the signs that, yeah, we most likely are dropping to much lower levels. I don't expect that we will stay here at around 60k for too long. We will see most likely a very parabolic move to the upside in the next coming days and weeks or a prolonged corrective phase before we really enter into that parabolic bull run that will take Bitcoin way above 100,000. At some point, I think Bitcoin will reach it. The question is only will we reach it this year immediately right now or later, maybe next year, something like that. Who knows that? That's why right now we are at a very critical point. So thank you for watching, guys. Let me know what do you think and also let me know in the comment section um, uh, if you like this new promotion over on BingX, make sure to sign up and also check out all the new meme coins that are coming out because if the Bitcoin bull run continues, those meme coins will explode like we're seeing all over on Dogecoin, Floki, Pepe and so on. We did some great gains over there. That's why I think that we will most likely uh, get here some uh, nice stuff. All right. So thank you for watching, guys. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye for now.